Now let's go into a speed comparison between both phones. The iPhone 12 mini has that Apple A14 Bionic chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM, where the Pixel 5 has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset inside of it with 8 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one is the faster phone between both of these. Okay, now that we're back, let me go and clear the apps in the background, which are already cleared. So let's start loading them up. Let's do phone calls. 3, 2, 1. I think the iPhone 12 mini was the faster one. Let's go and do their app stores. 3, 2, 1. And the Pixel 5 was faster, I think a little bit. The iPhone 12 mini was a little bit slower. But look at the animation speed. Look how much faster the iPhone 12 mini or just how much smoother that phone is than the Pixel 5. That's a really, really big thing to note. Now, as always, I have a bunch of these third-party apps. Let's do Fruit Ninja. 3, 2, 1. And I think the animations on the Android side have always been a little weird. And the Pixel 5 included, I think it's better than a lot of other Androids, but it's still not as great. And you can see the iPhone 12 mini was far faster than the Pixel 5. So that's a really, really big thing to note. Hopping out of these two, let's do the next one, which is Twitter. 3, 2, 1. The 12 mini was faster. The Pixel 5 a little bit slower. Let's do Facebook. 3, 2, I don't even have it. Let's do Tumper on 2. 3, 2, 1. And you can see the 12 mini does seem to be faster overall than the Pixel 5. So it's a pretty big thing to keep in mind as well. We do get a little bit of a low power mode pop up. So I will tell you the 12 mini probably was going to win there. The Pixel 5 was a little bit slower. Let's do Bofa. 3, 2, 1. And I am not on low power mode, so keep that in mind. So the performance is still going to be the same. And the 12 mini was the faster one here too. Quizlet. 3, 2, 1. 12 mini was faster. iPhone or the Pixel 5 was a little bit slower. Let's do Netflix. 3, 2, 1. Now it's probably not going to load here. I've had issues here before. Oh, it did end up loading. So still slower than the 12 mini. Let's do Snake First Blocks. 3, 2, 1. You can see actually the Pixel 5 was faster there. Let's get into some gameplay and there may be some differences. A little glitchy on both, but for sure the 12 mini was a little bit slower there. Thank you. 3, 2, 1. And the Pixel 5 was actually faster there. Pretty interesting stuff. The 12 mini was a little bit slower there. Let's go and hop out of this one. The gameplay was going to be about the same. Stack. 3, 2, 1. And a little bit of a pop-up here, I guess. I think maybe the Pixel 5 was going to win that one. Let's do Paper IO 2, which I don't think I have. Oh, I do. 3, 2, 1. You can see the Pixel 5 was the faster one, the 12 mini a little bit slower. Getting into some gameplay, let's see if there's a difference again. And there may not be, I think there's going to be about the same, but the Pixel 5 was faster there. Let's go and end it off with the Real Racing 3, 3, 2, 1. And you can see the iPhone 12 mini was a little bit slower, the Pixel 5 was the faster one there. So to kind of sum up this comparison, I'll definitely tell you, there's a lot of flip-flopping. You know, there were times the Pixel 5 was faster. There were times that the iPhone 12 mini was faster. And I don't think there was a consistent winner. I think the RAM management is still a humongous issue for the 12 mini. As you can see, that just restarted that very first app. The Pixel 5 was able to keep those in the background. So when it comes down to the raw speed and performance, I think they're about the same. But when it comes down to the RAM management, as you can see, I think the Pixel 5 is probably the better one when it comes down to it. I will do a full speed comparison if you guys want to see it. Let's go ahead.